Sepsis is a rare but potentially deadly reaction to an infection where the immune system goes into overdrive and begins to cause harm. If your child is unwell with a bug or an infection, it's really important to watch them closely. Now, whilst most children will make a quick and full recovery from an infection, rarely sepsis can develop. Because it's potentially life-threatening and it can be hard to spot, I hope that this short video will help increase your awareness of sepsis in children, including possible signs as well as symptoms. If you think that your baby, child or someone that you look after has got symptoms of sepsis, it's important to call emergency services or go to your nearest emergency department straight away if they've got blue or grey colour with pale, blotchy skin, lips or tongue. On brown or black skin, this might be easier to see on the palms of the hands or the soles of the feet. If they have a rash that doesn't fade when you roll a glass over it, the same as meningitis. Difficulty breathing. For example, you might notice grunting noises or their stomach sucking under their ribcage or their nostrils flaring out. They may also have breathlessness or they might be breathing very fast or working hard to breathe. If they have a weak, high-pitched cry that's not like their normal cry, if they're not responding like they normally do or they're not interested in feeding or normal activities, or if they're being much sleepier than normal or difficult to wake or rouse, or if they're having a fit or a convulsion. Now they may not have all of these symptoms and while some of them such as being more sleepy than normal may not necessarily be due to sepsis, in the context of a current or recent infection, it's better to get them checked. It's also important to speak to a medical professional if your child is three to six months of age with a temperature of 39 degrees C or 102.2 degrees Fahrenheit or above. But it's important to remember that fever can be common in babies up to two days after they receive vaccinations. As I've already mentioned, if you think your baby, child, or someone you look after has got symptoms of sepsis, call 999 or go to your nearest emergency department. It's best to trust your instincts. If any of the symptoms or signs that we've discussed in this video are present, it's imperative that they're seen. While sepsis is rare, it can be life-threatening. For more information on sepsis, including links to trusted websites and resources on spotting sepsis, please see the description box of this video. And if you want to share this information or experiences to help other parents or carers, please do so.